Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I thought I'd just show a few things that I've received over the last week or so. So first of all, I had some Happy Mail from my friend Marianne and she sent me a beautiful card and some of her lovely artwork but she also sent me these really lovely brushes so I've got a nice selection here and I've also got some stencil brushes as well so I'm really looking forward to using them and uh, yeah I just thought it was a really really sweet gesture let me show you the card actually as well this was her card here and I've since now been told that this beautiful pop-up teacup is a new Anna Griffin die isn't that stunning absolutely wonderful it certainly put a smile on my face and I love the way that she's done the flowers she's got some faceted gemstones there in the centers that really do sparkle and just all that lovely detail beautiful pattern papers and lots of uh, sparkle there looks like she's used a sparkle pen or um, some Winker Stella or something it's just got lots and lots of shine so that was absolutely gorgeous she's wrote a lovely message on the back there as well so yeah, big thank you there for sending me that. So that was some friend mail. And then the lovely Helen at Handmade at Helen, or Handmade by Helen, she sent me the two large thousand mil bottles of Kalau, which was so thoughtful. I did a shout out for her and a lot of you went to her website and purchased the glue. So as a thank you, she sent me two bottles. So I've got plenty to keep me going here. But she also did send me some other adhesives. So I thought I'd share these with you. I've got these here. So I've got the this is a mega roll red liner tape and this is the three mil by 14 meters this one is your 12 millimeters by 10 meters long and this one is six millimeters by 10 meters long so I've got absolutely heaps on here this one is super thin I've never had one this thin so yeah I'll definitely be using those ones and then she's also sent me a glue tape pen crafters companion and I've also got some craft foam pads here. These are the 12 mil by six mil by three mil. So they are rectangular shape, nice and thick. And then she also sent me this here, which is a pack of three, and it's the low tack tape for craft application. And then 19 millimeters by 75 meters on each of these. So I've got three water-based temporary fix clear tape. So I've got plenty to keep me going there. I think she heard me on one of my lives when I was saying that <laughs> I've got no more red liner tape and I need to order some. So again, very, very kind of you, Helen. Um, and again, if you do want to, you know, check out Helen's website, I'll link it below. Um, I'm sure she's got lots of other fun things over there as well. Then I also received these and I've been waiting for these for a while because they were currently sold out. And then um, Arteza very kindly sent these to me. Now, I've been working with Arteza for quite a few months now. It may even be a year or so. Um, and I use their products a lot. And I've been using the there are other coloured pencils during the Facebook Lives, a lot of them, and it's what I, it's kind of my go-to pencil. I do have lots of other brands as well, but it's in my big kind of pencil wrap that I have, so it's just the one I grab a lot at the moment. And I, they said to me, you know, would you like to choose some things? And I said, I'd really like to try your expert pencils. So this is the 120. I'm not going to go into detail with this. I'm not going to do swatches and all that lot with this video. I'm going to do it all in a separate video. But I've got five or six trays here of the coloured pencils. And yeah, I just can't wait to, to use them. So these here, they say that you've got 120 unique colours, artist quality, 4 mil lead, break resistant, blendable and acid free. So I'm really looking forward to trying those out. And then lastly, I picked up a few things from Craft Stash. So I did share on my Facebook page last week that they had made these stamps for, you know, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, creative stamps have produced these stamps here and you've got one for key workers which is your thank you you've got missing out you've got tough times and you've got thank you rainbow and I believe that all the profits from these are going to the NHS so and that's in the UK that's our national health service do you know what I was so surprised when these landed in the door because I honestly thought they were this size this is how big I was expecting them to be so when I received these they're just brilliant they're all photopolymer the sentiments are just brilliant. I am so happy I've got these because, you know, even after things have settled and we're kind of getting back to our normal, you know, lives, these sentiments will still work. They're still really, really nice. I love the little images as well. You've got the little trolley. We've got the bin. Um, that one there, you've got the box for like your your, your couriers, you know, your UPS, your uh, EPD, Royal Mail, all that kind of thing. But you've got not all superheroes wear capes. You've got a lovely thank you one there. Key workers rock. We couldn't be more grateful to you. 
for being someone to be proud of. So you've got thank you for being someone to be proud of. Um, thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for all you are doing. Thank you for keeping things going, for being there for us, for me. Thanks. Thank you for being someone to look up to. And then you've got here, thank you for caring for someone I love. Isn't that really nice? I love that one. Really like that one. So that's your key worker thank you. This one here is missing out, so it says, smiles are also contagious. Sending love at such a tough time. I miss your face. I say that, and I actually said that to my friend the other day. She works um, in the Boots Pharmacy, and she's been working through all of this, and she's had some really testing times at the beginning. And I went in there, and she's got a plastic screen, and we kind of touched with the screen either side. And I said, I miss your face. And then when this arrived through my door, and I thought, yep, yeah, I love it. Um, I love this one here. I miss you more than I miss my phone when it's out of charge I really miss you but I love not sharing <laughs> next year we can party like it's 2020 there's always next year if you're reading this you graduated congratulations this one says no graduation celebration and then it's got underneath but we are still very proud of you this one says no exams only you could get away with that one missed me missed me yet uh, for your birthday this year, you will have more cake. Then this one says, missed your prom, ask for the money instead. <laughs> and then you have happy and you have lockdown and you have birthday, but they're all separate stamps. So you can, you know, change them as you want to. But I like the happy lockdown birthday because, you know, it's awful what's going on in the world. It really is. But it's also something that I think we're all going to look back on and remember these times. So, you know, to have these kind of cards with just little kind of nods to what's happening in the world, I think will be things to look back on and remember. So I really like that one. Then you've got tough times. So this one says this too will pass. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Stars can't shine without darkness. I will catch you if you fall. New adventures ahead. Uh, oh, sorry. New adventures lie ahead. We will meet again and I hope it will be soon. Love and friendship are the best medicines. Sometimes a rainbow is better than a pot of gold. Time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters and that is very true because I know a lot of people that have said that. The best way out is always through. We are better together. Be proud of how far you have come. Have faith in how far you will go. And again, that's a really nice one. Okay, and then this, wow. I honestly thought the rainbow, like I said, I thought it was going to be quite small. This is brilliant. And again, take away the thank you, take away the NHS key workers. This is going to be so nice. Just on birthday cards, you could stamp unicorns. You know, I'm sure lots of us have got a unicorn stamp or something in our stash. It's just such a nice size. And I've actually got some really fun ideas to use this in 3D makes as well so but I like that I've got that NHS stamp because it's the only one I'm ever going to have I don't think I'm going to find that one as you know something so it's get your hands on it because these are limited edition they're not around for long and um yeah I just I'm super pleased I've got them so creative stamping craft stash you've done brilliantly with these I'm so so pleased with them and um yeah if you can grab them get your hands on them because even if you're outside of the UK okay I know it's not the NHS but you can certainly all of these here you know will be perfect no matter where you are in the world because there's nothing there that's I guess UK specific yeah super pleased with those and then I picked up this one here I love this I'd seen it and I thought oh yeah no I'm gonna get it this time so it's the hogs and kisses you make me feel like I can fly and then this one says missing you pig time hmm <laughs> look at this one here it's a little um rubber ring but it's got a donut you know design on it the splats love that one with a little birthday present this one with the wings and then you've got more splats there. You've got the puddle which will be mud. I think it's great, lots of fun. Then I also picked up this one. You know I love Daisy May stamps and this was again a limited edition. It was a five pound special stamp set and it's the Village Memorial stamp set. So it will go with all of the other stamps. If you do collect the Daisy May design stamps, this will go with her village, which I do have. And again, it's just one of these ones that I just wanted it in my stash and it's got some really lovely little sentiments there. I love the bird, you've got the banner and the samples that Claire made who designs this Claire Rowland were beautiful. So I thought, yep, yeah, I want to do, you know, some of those cards as well. So yeah, really pleased I've got that one. 
and again if I can find all the links hopefully they're still available I will share them all below and then finally I picked myself up some silver mirrored card I just thought I'll have a little look through see what else I can get and um, oh you can just about see me there yeah I picked up this here so it's a chrome silver A4 250 GSM you get five sheets high gloss mirrored card acid and lingam free and that's by Tonic Studio. I also received two magazines, so I'm just adding them into this video. So I've got here the latest, this is issue 65 of Die Cutting Essentials magazine. Excuse the glare, let me just move it across, lift it up a bit there, there you go. This is a really nice size cocktail glass die, and you can also download um, extra sentiments, which are on the back, I'll show you in a moment. But you can make um, shaker cards with this, you can see they put some little like sprinkles inside there. But you've got your little umbrella, you've got the stick, and then you have the word cheers there. And then on the back, there's some inspiration. There's loads of inspiration in the magazine, but you can see all of these free sentiments that you can download as well. So in the magazine, as always, it's a nice bumper size. You get lots and lots of pages of inspiration. You've got amazing 3D projects using your exclusive free die there, along with cards as well. And I've got my one in here, which I've done. And this was using a new release from press cut dies. So it was these butterflies embossing folders. And then also I had the unicorns. I loved doing that on this stepper card. I've got a little pop-up box card. I've done this one, which is the inside floating card, which I've done before on my channel. Really, really fun cards to do. So I show you how I made all of them. And as always, it's just full of just so much inspiration. Lots of different themes, masculine, you know, parties. There's the dies. Just lots and lots, and this carousel is amazing. So yeah, look forward to sitting down and reading through that because I haven't had a chance yet. And then I was super pleased to get this one. So I was asked again quite a few months ago now to do three masculine makes for the new volume one of the new Ultra New box magazine. So this is full. There's absolutely tons in this. You have 67 floral makes to inspire you. Uh, you get a 18 piece layering stamp set, a six in one stencil, a three, dice three piece die set and then you also get 32 page of paper with 16 designs and it's really nice paper so I'll just give you a little peek inside because I know you know before I was kind of you know working with the magazines it's really hard to see them in the shops I would go and purchase them and when it's in a box you just can't really see it and you like to have a look so hopefully you know I know lots of you always thank me for sharing these videos because it does give you a better insight into what's inside the magazines so here is the magazine with the papers inside and they are a matte finish and they are a nice thick paper there and you know your sentiments you've got them on that plain paper there so they're easy to cut out and then you have all of these here which will cut with the die so you don't have to fuzzy cut there's dies to cut all of this as well and then look at all these beautiful papers very you know you look at it and you know it's old to new it's just it's gorgeous you can see that I'll just go through and then you've got the repeats again so you get two of everything so you've got you know a lot of sentiments there you know you cut them all up and put them in a little little storage kind of little box and uh, you can you know use them on many things and again more of those flowers again so that all repeats for you and then if I just show you this here so here is your die and you can just see it's a nice big die of that flower and this one here actually will die cut the, the smaller spray here so it's this one so your large die will do all of these big ones, so the main flower, and these are, you know, if you're familiar with Altenew, Altenew are famed for their layering techniques, so they're layered stamps, so you use multiple inks to create that depth. That's what these are, so you don't need dies for them because these layer onto this larger one. And then here's your leaf again, these will all layer into the leaf, and then you have the die to die cut it. You also get some really nice sentiments, you've got hello sweet friend, you have miss you, and you have thank you down there as well plus you've got all those printed sentiments inside and then here is that stencil and this was one that I used for one of the makes um, well three of them I done but one of them I done focusing on this stencil here and it's really nice to use um, along with the die there and one of mine was I actually made it onto the front cover which is this one here where I die cut all of the leaves to make that wreath and it's just a card that says all the best and I've done some layering with the papers there and then again I'll give you a slight little flick through but not too much because I don't like to give away but just look for an example there of some of the beautiful things you make that's all heat embossed in gold those leaves then the centers you know different elements of the layered parts of the stamp have been embossed just emboss the outer flower there you know just the the frame of the flower absolutely stunning really really is nice um, again that's all your papers 
and then you've got more inspector. Look at this one here, stunning. Really is pretty. Such a nice set. There's just there's tons, absolutely tons. Helen's done some stuff in there as well. So yeah, I really did enjoy that one. And um, hopefully those of you, you know, that do like to get your box kits, this is volume one. I also done that one. Maybe some of you recognise. They asked me to do a shirt card, so I used that little spray one there and I I heat emboss that one actually um, but again I talk you through how to do that inside so yeah that is volume one so if you are someone that likes to collect your magazine box kits you know grab this one while it's the first one because um, they're always very popular okay so again that's the two of them there issue 65 of die cutting essentials and volume one of the new ultra new box kit Okay, so that's everything. Um, I can't wait. I always get excited. It's uh, about the only thing I've got to look forward to right now is any craft supplies that may fall through the letter box. So I'm really excited to play around with these, make some nice cards with these lovely stamps, use my lovely new paintbrushes that I've got there, and I'm going to be well you're going to see me use them a lot and hopefully they're really really nice to use and I'll be doing a separate video on that as well, so look out for it. I will be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye!